Hello all, welcome to the new lecture of the one dimensional wave equations of PDE. In this lecture, we will discuss about the Cauchy problem and D. Alembert's formula for the uh, one dimensional wave equation. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the general solution, uh, the canonical form and general solution of the one dimensional wave equation. So, here we will uh, continue the uh, same uh, with the the Cauchy problem and D. Alembert's formula. The Cauchy problem uh, for the one dimensional wave equation is given by u t t minus c square into u x x equal to 0 where minus infinity less than x less than infinity and t greater than 0 and with the given conditions u of x 0 equal to f of x and u t at x 0 equal to g of x where minus infinity less than x less than infinity. So, this represents the Cauchy problem. Okay, a solution of this problem uh, can be interpreted as the amplitude of a sound wave propagating in a very long and narrow pipe. That means the system represents actually the vibration of an infinite string. The system also represents vibration of an infinite string. Now the given conditions uh, u of x 0 at equal, at equal to f of x means that f of x represents the amplitude. Okay, amplitude um, u at a time t equal to 0 and u t at x 0 equal to g of x. This condition represents the g of x means it is the velocity u t of the same string at t equal to 0. So, in the case of the vibration of an infinite string, f of x represents the amplitude u and g of x uh, which are the both are the given functions. g of x represents the u t that means uh, dou u by dou t that means uh, the derivative. <coughs> or the velocity of the string at a time t equal to 0. So, this uh, problem, whole problem represents the vibration of an infinite uh, string. Now, what is a classical solution? A classical solution uh, of this problem, of the Cauchy problem, uh, is a function u which is continuously twice differentiable for all t greater than uh, 0 and such that u and u t are continuous in the half space u and u t are continuous in the half space t greater than or equal to 0 and such that uh, the systems 1 and 2 are uh, satisfied. So, this is about the solution. Now, we have to find the classical solution. So, in the first lecture, we have discussed the canonical form and uh, the general solution. So, the general solution of the wave equation uh, of the one dimensional homogeneous wave equation is of the form is of the form uh, u u of x t is equal to some arbitrary functions f and t f of x plus c t plus g of x minus c t. So, since u of x t is f of capital F of x plus c t and g of x minus c t where f and g are arbitrary functions. Now, the given the Cauchy problem uh, means we have to find these functions, these arbitrary functions f and g satisfying the uh, given conditions. That means at a t equal to uh, 0. So, substituting t equal to 0 in equation 3, substitute t equal to 0 in equation number 3, we have uh, u of x 0 is equal to f of x plus g of x is equal to and by our uh, assumption u of x 0 is equal to f of x. 
So f x plus uh, that means we obtain f of x plus g of x is equal to small f of x. Let this be equation number 4. And uh, then now differentiating this uh, equation 4.5, uh, I mean the equation number 3 with respect to t. Now differentiating uh, equation 3 with respect to t and substituting t equal to 0. We have what we obtained is ut at x0 is equal to uh, ut at x is equal to 0 is equal to c into f of uh, x plus c into 0 minus c into g sorry not f of f dash g dash of x minus c into 0 that means uh, differentiating we get uh, c into f dash of x plus ct minus c into g dash of x minus ct so uh, again substituting x equal to 0 we will get this one that is c into f dash of x minus c into g dash of x now what is ut at x 0 it is given as g of x then the second equation we obtained uh, for our eliminating capital F and G is C into um, F dash of X minus uh, G dash of X. Is equal to what? G of X. Okay. Now, integrating this equation, let this be equation number 4. Now, integrate uh, equation number 4. Uh, over the interval, closed interval 0x. So, in the left side, we have c into uh, f dash x minus g dash x. Now, integrating that, we will get or we can write f dash x minus g dash of x is equal to 1 by c into g of x. Then, integrating, uh, we have integral uh, 0 to x. Since uh, x is in the upper limit, we are taking the variable of integration as another one that is dummy variable s. So, f dash of s minus g dash of s ds is equal to 1 by c integral 0 to x g of s ds. Okay. Now integrating we know this is with respect to x. We will get f dash of sorry f of x minus g of x. So the left side will be f of x minus g of x is equal to 1 by c into integral. Uh, okay. Plus 1 integrating constant will be there. Okay. So, 1 by c into, uh, okay, here there is no integrating constant. Since uh, integral 0 to x, uh, g of s ds is a proper integral, uh, there is no definite integral, there is no uh, arbitrary constant. So, this will be 1 by small c into integral 0 to x, uh, g of s ds plus capital C will be there because um, here when applying the upper limit we are getting this one and when applying the lower limit there will be f of 0 minus g of 0 minus of f of 0 minus g of 0 that we are taking as capital C. So where capital C is equal to capital F of 0 minus G of 0. Okay, applying the, uh, integrating the left side and applying the limits. So, uh, when we apply the, the function will be F of X minus G of X. When applied the upper limit, we will get F of X minus G of X. Then minus of F of 0 minus G of 0 that we are taking as C. 
So we obtained the two equations uh, f of x uh, connecting f of x and uh, g of x. I am just rewriting that one uh, equation number 3 that is f of x plus g of x is equal to small f x that is that was equation number 3 and let this be equation number 5 I think yeah equation number 5. Uh, now um, adding these two equations we can find uh, what uh, we can find capital fx isn't it so 3 plus 5 equation 3 plus equation 5 implies fx plus fx 2 times f of x is equal to um, small fx plus 1 by small c integral 0 to x g of x ds plus capital C or capital F of x is equal to uh, fx 1 by 2 fx plus 1 by 2 c integral 0 to x g of s ds plus c by 2. Let this be equation number 4. Okay. And similarly, um, subtracting the two equations, we get g of x. That is 3 minus 5. So, 3 minus 5 will imply Two g of x is equal to uh, f of x minus one by c integral zero to x g of x ds minus c, or g of x is equal to one by two into f of x minus one by two c integral 0 to x g of s ds g of s ds minus capital C by 2 and let this equation number b this is 6 and this one is 7 6 and 7 so we have obtained uh, what capital f of x and uh, uh, small uh, capital F of x, the arbitrary functions capital F x and uh, capital G x. Now substituting in the uh, solution, general solution, we will obtain the uh, um, solution for the satisfying the given initial conditions or solution for the Cauchy problem. So substituting this in equation number 3, 3 I think. The formula is given by, yeah, the general solution is given by equation number 3. So, substitute that one. So, for that we have to get capital F of x plus ct and uh, capital G of x plus ct. So, substituting, uh, substituting 6 and 7 in equation number 3. This implies u of xt u of x t is equal to f of x plus c t plus g of x minus c t. So, f of x plus c t means f of instead of x we have to write f of x, x plus c t. So, 1 by 2 into f of x plus c t plus 1 by 2 c integral 0 to x plus c t g of s ds plus c by 2 plus g of x minus c t 1 by 2 into f of x minus c t minus 1 by 2 c integral 0 to x minus c t g of s g of s ds minus c by 2 so simplifying this we will get f of x plus c t plus f of x minus c t by 2. Now consider the uh, term minus 1 by 2 c into uh, integral 0 to x minus c t g of s ds. That can be written as 1 by 2 c plus 1 by 2 c 
x minus ct to 0 g of s ds. Then again one more term is there 1 plus 1 by 2c 0 to uh, x plus ct. So we can write it as integral x minus ct to 0 plus integral 0 to x plus ct. The integrand is same. So we can combine this as and write it as x minus integral x minus ct to x plus ct. So that will become plus 1 by 2c integral x minus ct to x plus ct g of s ds. Now plus e by 2 and minus e by 2 will get cancelled. So this is about the uh, solution or the solution is given by u of xt. The solution to the Cauchy problem is given by u of xt is equal to f of x plus ct plus f of x minus ct by 2 plus 1 by 2c integral x minus ct to x plus ct g of s ds. And this is called the d Alembert's formula. This is the solution of the Cauchy problem and is Cauchy problem for the one dimensional equation and this is called the D. Alembert's solution. Solution for the Cauchy problem. Also, uh, sometimes um, equations number 6 and 7, that is the explicit formula for f of x and g of x uh, are useful um, as they give the explicit formula for uh, one is the back forward wave and the other one is the backward wave, represents the backward wave. So, sometimes these explicit formulas are also useful. So, the D-Alembert solution means it is the um, solution of the Cauchy problem of the one-dimensional wave equations given by the uh, equations uh, 1 and 2 that is uh, ut t minus e square into u x x equal to 0 with the given initial conditions u of x 0 equal to f of x and u t at x 0 equal to g of x. Uh, and the solution will be in the form uh, or the D. Alembert solution is in the form u of x t is equal to f of x plus c t plus f of x minus c t by 2 plus 1 by 2 c integral x minus c t to x plus c t g of x ds. Okay. So the problem regarding the um, um, or the examples of the Cauchy problems that we will discuss in the next lecture. Okay, thank you. Thank you all.